the first birth anniversary of J. Alexander Sir. J. Alexander Sir was one of the powerful back support for Rakham schools, former Chief Secretary, retired IAS officer and the Tourism Minister of Karnataka State. They survived and we learned quite a lot of his tactics. One of the best tactics we found was when there is a problem, shut down and don't talk to anybody. <laughs> and we always did that. And there is the smallest problem, we just shut down. And the problem solves always. So that is one of one of the best tactics of his. Certain facts, truthful facts and ideas is which is really helped us in taking and carrying the school forward. We miss him a lot. And um, his granddaughter or niece called us and said they wanted to feed the children on his first birth anniversary. That happened. And then I recall my owner, my we are on a rental premises in Dranad, ground floor, first floor, second floor. I think we pay around one lakh sixty or sixty-five thousand rupees for the rent every month. I recall the owner and said, running short of money, you ought to wait till 10. And he was so sweet, he said, no problem. So I was thinking maybe Sunday, Monday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, maybe some money will fall in. We are supposed to give them the rental money on the 7. <laughs> so situation is a little uh, tight running and uh, we hope to overcome. Confucius quotes this is the third one. Confucius said, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Yes, the day you stop, they say, flowing water is fresh water. Stagnant water stinks. And that was the truth in all the philosophies around the world. Especially for people who had heart attack. And doctor, an American doctor, who was the chief physician in the White House, he was an allopathy doctor. And he started the reversal of heart diseases. And it was he who said this one, what is the cause of heart attack? And he said, forget about heart attack, any diseases for that matter. What was it? Exactly very close to what Confucius said, does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. Yes, he said, when you stop and you stop, Stop in one place for more than one hour. You will have heart attack. Sitting in one place for more than one hour. Driving time, stop after one hour to one place. Get on from the car and walk up and down. Do not sit in one place for more, not more than one hour. Once you understood that one, I think you can understand you have become a doctor. That every moment diseases are like stagnant people. When you are stagnant and your samskriti always taught you that every joint in the body has to be loosened, shoulder rotations, neck rotations, hip rotations, knee rotations, and then the stretch, the trikonasana, the forward bending, the artha matsindrasana, the child pose. If you do that stretch, you allow the water to run. You allow the blood to run. You allow the energy to move and you can find less of diseases. We found out in the in our Rakumji Ashram in Devanahalli. Last two years, and we, we moved to Devanahalli and we found water stagnation everywhere. In the main road, inside the ashram, in front of the dining hall, water enters the storeroom inside the dining hall. It was a very pathetic situation. 
And this year I decided, I got the people and created buns everywhere, cut the land into several, several small, small, small pieces. And can you believe non-stop rain in the month of uh, July and now also it is raining and I can't find a single drop of water entering the dining hall or in the store. Neither in the library, the library is full of water. You can't even walk on that side. In front of our temple, roads are blocked with rainwater. Massive. Everybody, so much of rainwater. I know one massive rain, rainwater, if we can collect 10 lakh liters of water, we could collect. We didn't have that kind of big, huge, big tanks. So we was wondering all this water is wasted. This year I went and I made sure I cut, 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 cut. And if anywhere the buns are broken, I just diverted the water beautifully. If the water was there stagnant, you can see a huge amount of mosquitoes. Water was stagnant, people cannot move. And that can bring in a lot of snakes. It's a disease. When water moves out, it is dry. You can control even the nature. Nature doesn't disturb you and gives it, it gives us, gives us a lot. And it is our duty to make sure how we put it up in proper boxes. So for that, for future uses, that is called fixed deposits. Now with the bank, Confucius course, it does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. All the senior students who are over here, and they all got, they all came very baby maybe. They came from uh, nursery, two and a half years, or LKG, UKG. When they reached post-graduation, after that, they do the BA or they want to write civil service ex examination. And after that, they, they took in charge of one more department. Suddenly they decided they wanted to leave because their stipend, their pay is around 25,000. So they get around two lakhs or three lakhs in the bank and they want to live. And everybody comes and asks me, what happened? What happened? <laughs> what nothing has happened when the bird has got the wings, then it, the bird should allow the baby to fly off. And we allow them to fly off. People shouldn't think that seniors should stay with me throughout their life. If they wanted to fly off, well and good, they should fly off. But sometimes we feel a little sad when they do not sit and discuss with us and say a thank you. But then I look at the birds. Did any of the chicks say thank you to the dad or mom? The moment they knew how to fly, they flew very far away. They hardly never come back. That should be the way of an organization. So organization in our organization, if uh, directors and uh, department heads, sometimes they feel sad. They shouldn't feel sad. Should, our duty is like a doctor. When they come, we give them treatment and then send. We shouldn't even call them to find out whether they are healthy. When they want it, they again come. Our duty is keep on and giving them the first aid or the medicines possible. We shouldn't expect. If once we expect, Karma Yoga is very, very bad. Confucius said, it does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. Don't worry about other people are running very fast. It's like the tortoise and the hare story. And every child has been taught from childhood. That's a tortoise and the hare story. And the hare runs very fast. And he gets tired. He turns back and look. He saw the tortoise is far away. So he takes a nap. And tortoise slowly walks. He hits the victory target. You should be like that. Continuous continuity without a break. Every seven days. If you continuously move, you can overtake anybody. Don't stop with trees. Yours. Go ahead. Children who left us also. Don't worry. Sanskriti, as long as you keep our Sanskriti in practice every day. Of course, you might be shocked to see the culture shock in the world. Because here we give you more protection. Very good food. Very good clothing and all. Suddenly you want to go out and see the world. Mm, yes, see the world. But make sure you hold on to your Sanskrit, then the fear will not be there. Don't stop. Victory is yours.